Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to compare my stock 1HZ with my turbocharged 1HZ. That's right, we're gonna look at a comparison video today, and we're gonna look at how it looks, how it sounds, and how it drives compared to how it used to. So I'm gonna take it for about an hour's long drive, and we're gonna look at fuel economy, and the way it sounds, and yeah, just how it overall drives compared to how it used to when it was stock. But before we get into that, it's time to cue the roll of before and after shots. Now to get a fair fuel economy test, I'm going to fill this up and reset the trip meter to zero before I go anywhere. We'll be able to work out exactly how many litres per hundred it's using. Alright, so we're going to take it for a little test drive, just to get that sound, see how it drives compared to how it used to. So, let's just do a bit of a take off. we get in and test how long it takes for it to get up to 100k an hour let's do a quick flashback to how long it took the last time I was out on this road 80k an hour 85 we'll go to fifth my foot is flat 90 95 100 35 seconds wow anything would be an improvement from that Alright, ready, and go. Oh, that is so much snappier. 50 already? 60. 8 pound, my EGT is like 250 degrees, it's nothing. Here we go, 80k an hour. 95 100 8 seconds faster that is a massive improvement and considering I'm only running 8 pound of boost that is amazing I could easily wind this up to 10 pounds safely without an intercooler and in fact I probably will there you go that is so much better than it was before far out so we'll take a short hour long trip to a place that will remain nameless for my privacy. And when we get back, we can work out the fuel consumption.
right, so as you can see, it didn't even use 12 liters. What do you reckon that is like? Oh, 11.57, got 11.7. Okay, so now the maths for that, to work out your fuel uh, consumption, you wanna go the amount of liters you've used, times that by 100, and divide it by the amount of Ks we traveled, which was 80.7. And there you go, about 14.5 liters per 100 is what I'm using. Which is pretty good, considering my last fill up before the turbo was 14.8 litres exactly. Now in this run, there was a lot of accelerating and heavy accelerating because of course I was testing the time it took to get to 100k an hour. So 14.5 is a really good figure. Now let's take this out in the paddock and have a real listen to how she sounds. So there you go, I just converted this Land Cruiser into a turbocharged vehicle. If anyone has any questions about anything I've done in the process, feel free to message me. I might even put out another video if it's a big enough problem. But yeah, feel free to subscribe and share this video around with your friends. I really appreciate any support. And of course, I will answer any questions you have. So that concludes my little four part mini series in converting this 1HZ to a turbo 1HZ. Um, and yeah, it's been a really great journey. So in the future, I've got some things coming like a turbo timer. And of course, I might end up putting an intercooler on this. There'll be some little mods like that. So yeah, if you guys love this content, let me know by subscribing, commenting, messaging me, whatever. I really love doing it um, and I appreciate your support. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.